www.ian.com. I am one of your lovable hosts, Brad Harmer Barnes. I'm joined by my other lovable host, uh, Ian Harmer. Hey! How you doing? I'm excited. You're excited. I'm excited. You're excited. excited. Yes. Two people here are very excited. Yes, well, well I'm very sure smiling. Waste no time in having a chat with them. Um, <laughs> we've got, uh, well, basically, the guy from Five Hundred Red, and we've got Dave Mustill. Yay! And uh, the, the new guy. Well, you're not even a new guy anymore. You've been here for ages now. Yeah, yeah I was thinking about this. Uh, the like, newest guy. The newest, the newest guy. guy. Uh, it's been about a year since I started to appear in Evil Team Talk. Uh, Before last Christmas. Was it really? Was yeah. it yeah, when we did Strike Teams? Yeah, yeah. Strike yeah. Teams was... Uh, was no, it? first one was Turtles. Uh, Turtles of Heroic. Oh, yeah, oh, that, yeah, yeah, that was last year. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, okay. So, yeah. Uh, piece of the furniture now, basically. Yeah, right. cool. <laughs> Have you got a good memory or have you checked? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Face it came with my face memories. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. um, so yeah, this whole Carl Mullings. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Hi guys. Uh, yeah. So um, we had rather an adventure last weekend. Yes. We, we did. went to uh, Selwig and we played a what could uh, I think the technical consideration is a fuck off game of Legion. That's serious. It was. We had a serious amount of hardware. On the <coughs> it was a bit. Yeah. Including our uh, uh, attack walker. Which, which looked good. Yeah, I thought it looked good. It made people come and, come and talk to us. Yes, which yeah. is a shame. We had people stopping by and joining in yes. for protracted amounts of time for some of them. Yeah, it's great. It's good. It's great. It's great. It was lovely, actually. We've had people come and, come and, and watch us normally. It yeah. must have been your charm, charming influence. Oh, yeah. to... <laughs> <laughs> I think jamming the ATAP with a Bluetooth speaker definitely helps with the oh, yeah, well, which yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. That was, that was great. And we had a toy interceptor and two ATSTs and two T47s on the table. Yeah, yeah we just saw his turret the centre room. Oh, yeah, yeah, but Death Star turret. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. there was a lot. And it speeder was, bikes. It was, a, it was a busy table. One of the comments Chewy. and the reviews was it's a very busy table. And it was a busy table. Oh, yes. <laughs> which is good, which is good. It draws the eye to certain yeah. things. Yeah. Anywhere you look, there was something. Plus, it's Star Wars. On. We're not doing some Napoleonic game where no, it's no. loads of people in red uniforms, loads of people in blue uniforms lining up on hexes. We had to make it look. Chaotic and loud, like Star Wars is. Yeah. So, um, but it, what a day, though, huh? That's great, though. Well, hopefully, yeah. we can. Uh, yeah. It was a decisive victory for the Rebels. It was a four the, nil breakthrough. The Empire really. never got through. I stand all. by the fact that we murdered Luke, so I'm happy. I count it as a win for the Imperials. Long live Vader. All right, Ryan Johnson. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to. The one murder, thing that did. I wasn't allowed to murder Chewie because I've done it the day before. <laughs> <laughs> in the one... outer rim. <laughs> You won a game of Outer Rim as Lando by taking out Chewie as a bounty. <laughs> what? He won a game of Outer Rim by being Lando shooting Chewie in the face. Oh, yeah. I feel good. Yeah. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't a good victory, no, was it? I feel terrible. Yeah. Is that the I've won. I've won, but not, not so no terrible that I'm not going to do it. <laughs> There's no excuse for going that far yeah. off theme, really, is yeah. there? That's... Yeah, we need to get you on again without a rim soon. Yeah, no, by all means. I think the only one thing that annoyed me about Selwig was uh, the kids were rolling better than us. There were two kids. I've seen so much paint. My God, it was awesome. I hated it. I absolutely hated it. It was cool, right? Rebel's turn. Yeah, go up by all means. Letting one of the uh, kids who came out. Yeah, the Zero Six, it never worked. And it was just constant good rolls. Yeah, all against me and Ian. stuff. It was so frustrating. I was like, you're great at tabletop, but please be on my side. Like, come on. Interesting, last time I rewatched it, have you noticed there's a Z6 in Solo? You mentioned this, but I Yeah, when they first meet up with uh, Beckett's gang, one of the one of the guys who doesn't make it into later in a film, mm -hmm. just doing that, and you'll see he's shooting a Z6 off. And it's quite obviously a Z6. Oh, okay. So, go back, go back and watch it. Um, a little bit, but okay. it's mostly suppressive fire. <laughs> uh, so, there's a reason we're here, and a reason we're all very, very excited mm, uh, as yes. well, because we've been, we first heard of this... Well, Legion started 18 months ago, yes. and I think we first heard of this about 15 months ago. It was speculated for some time, and the, the, the previous shows that we've done, people have asked about yeah, uh, this Which thing. amazes me, but there's, I'm, I'm not surprised there was interest in the Clone Wars coming to Legion, no, no. but I'm surprised there was so much interest. Is it? Because it's generational. I think it must be because I still think of the Galactic Civil War as the main Star Wars. I mean, I love the yeah. and I love, uh, I love all of the whole era we've covered, but I do gravitate back towards the Galactic Civil War. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, how, how, obviously, we've got uh, David slightly older than me and Carl slightly younger than me. Where do you sit on the excitement for Clone Wars? Slightly. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. Yeah. Give me droids. Yeah. Give me, I think we've had this conversation off camera. Um, I very much came into Star Wars in the prequels, so my... 
my uh, entry was, oh, battle droids, oh, these are cool, and droidicas, and I'm like, wait, they're in Legion now? Can I have the table? Are cool. so <laughs> they are so cool! Yeah. So it was, was it Phantom Menace, your first film? Phantom Menace was actually one of the first films I saw in cinema. Oh, um, my word. Yeah, okay. so I yeah. think it was the second film I ever saw in cinemas um, was so Phantom Menace. All those droids coming out. The yeah, 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 so yeah. the droids so rolling out. So and awesome. the massive yeah. fight. Yeah, no, so um, that was my entry to not only Star Wars, but to cinema as a whole, kind of. So uh, I think that's why the prequel was holding a special place for me. Yeah, I feel quite old, because mine was Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. <laughs> was it crap? No, it wasn't colour. <laughs> <laughs> Did they go pound and pound now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Dave, uh, uh, um, Clone Wars for you? Yeah, uh, well, I keep saying that the, um, the prequel trilogy did nothing did for me. Did land for you. The good thing is it had some really cool hardware, which is mm -hmm. what we're getting. So there's yeah, yeah, that's what, what I mean. And yeah. Grievous and things like that. Really cool characters, just yeah. pretty badly executed. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm definitely a Galactic Civil War. Yeah. I would always go back to that mm. and watch those. Mm. And watch those three films any time. Mm. And try and, and try go back. To, yeah, and Robotics. Yeah. Um, try and go back to prequels. Yeah. It's hard work for me. And even, yeah. even the ones that people say, oh yeah, no. The, um, the other films are better than Phantom Menace and. Phantom Menace. Is, I think it's the it's the actual fight scenes in Phantom Menace are so awesome, aren't they? It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It, Where you actually see lightsaber fights. Yeah, yeah. Actually, they, so um, with the, the best, speed. Yeah, you know, with the best two characters in it are killed before the end of the film. So yeah. Spoiler alert, just in case. Yeah. Um, <laughs> One for twenty <laughs> years ago. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, I've done that before. Yeah. I've been really killed. Um, but yeah, you, the two best characters in it are dead by the end of the film. Mm -hmm. and you go, it's kind of feels, feels a bit of a waste. Well, really. are they? Just, just you know what I think is um, one of the best things uh, about the prequels is I honestly think that's the best music in all of the Star Wars saga. The mm. prequels, John Williams' work on the prequels is just mm. so. Yeah. He, he's just he did nothing but improve in the twenty years between Jedi yeah, and yeah, Phantom Menace. Yeah. There's just constant leveling up going on there. <laughs> and it, if you imagine the kind of stuff he's like the Cross the Stars is genuinely my favourite piece of classical music. I absolutely love that. I mean, you've got Battle of the Heroes and, of course, um, Duel of the Fates. It's just Duel of Fates is amazing. Massive Baroque band bombastic. Well, I think Duel of Fates has got so big that it's surpassed Star Wars. Yeah, That's yeah. the thing. Like, people know Duel of Fates even if they haven't watched the end fight scene from the uh, from Phantom Menace a yeah. hundred plus times. Like, I'm sure some of us have. Yeah. Me. Um, so, so if you have. Yeah, yeah. me. Okay. me. Uh, no, I'd stand by the fact that if you can find this on YouTube, um, yeah. but you can see that fight instead of the cuts in between, yeah. where it cuts off to Sidney Pike's story, just in one big take. Yeah. yeah, there's a couple of jumps here and there, but it's just pure action. It's yeah. so good. I, I really like that. And yeah, no, Jewel of Fates is just a great piece. Were you fans of the Clone Wars TV series as well? Uh, I haven't really touched it. No, I, I, I need to get into it. I'm sure if you're right for it, then no, you, might, you might be a little too old to watch cartoons. Yeah, yeah, so that was the thing. It's a little bit too old, and now I'm at the age where I don't care what people think, and I'm yeah. going to watch cartoons, yeah, and yeah, they're yeah. going to like it. I need to touch Rebels as well, so I need yeah, to see both yeah. um, Clone Wars is... Uh, the first series is definitely a kid's film, and it's almost like the second series, although they realised the audience was a little older than yeah. they realised, and you get, especially by the time you get like series four or five, mm. and you, you got more comes back, and uh, you got a lot of Spoilers. the dark side. Oh, it, shut up. <laughs> Spoilers for Solo somehow. And there's uh, a load of the dark side uh, stuff that starts coming in, and more about it. It's, yeah, yeah, it gets, it gets, the Mandalorian War comes in and stuff. It's so good. I've seen snippets, yeah. like compilation videos and stuff like that, of mm -hmm. like, like, funny best bits and stuff like that, you know, when you yeah. get bored at like 4 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I haven't sat down and been like, I'm going to binge and watch Do this. Do you think like Legion Clone Wars would interest either of you guys in going watching the TV show? To be honest, I think watching the TV show would give me more interest in yeah. Clone Wars. I think. Yeah, Because yeah. yeah. I've heard people picking it up so much, yeah. I haven't had a chance to watch it. But yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I think I will. How are you feeling about Clone Wars? I've only ever done the first series, and that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, um, I did all the Rebels. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I like the idea of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I did play Battle of the Commando. I did play Battle of the Commando. Commando. It was yes. great. PS2. PS2. Uh, I was playing PS2. on the original Xbox. Yeah. From yeah. PS2, yeah. So we're doing PS2 as well. Um, yes, I did play Battle of the Commando. I also played Bounty Hunter. Uh, Bounty Hunter was really good. That yeah. was um, my f no, no. I was about to say it was my first Star Wars game. No, my first Star Wars game was uh, what was it? Oh, X Wing on. 
floppy disks. Yeah, the X-Wing was great. That was so, like a full flight sim. Yeah, 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 that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my first Star Wars game, video game was a sit-down arcade cabinet where the graphics were just lines. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Many, many times. Oh. <laughs> when are we going to get one of those? <laughs> We have got that game on the Mega Drive. Oh, was it on the Mega Drive? Yeah, it was Bounty Hunter, the Django Fett one. Bounty Hunter, yeah, yeah. it's really cool. Played that yeah. on Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So um, that was on GameCube. My, my favourite one is not Silver Public. Republic. That's what I'm one and two. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Just incredible games. Yeah, so good. It's and it's they're now like ranged and available on like every single platform. I have not Silver Republic on my Kindle. That's how many formats <laughs> <laughs> I'm reissued really for. Which is good. Which yeah. is great because, and I think that's why people. Well, I suppose newer generations mm -hmm. to Star Wars uh, can pick up the prequel stuff a little bit easier in that kind of generation because that's when like gaming and stuff really kicked off. Was yeah. because mm -hmm. we had the prequels and then we got yeah we got those games we got um, I forgot completely forgot what it was called we got Bounty Hunter we got mm -hmm. uh, Republic, Commando. Republic Commando we got a lot of that stuff and people were like oh, okay yeah I grew up playing that and yeah. then they got more invested in Star Wars yeah. so it was kind of an in the time was perfect and obviously yeah. we're getting the new Star Wars game coming out really soon as well which yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah less than a month yeah less than a month it looks like Star Wars Uncharted which are two things which I are love fantastic yeah I'm just missing <laughs> just missing some certain voice actors who always are in every single game oh yeah. Oh, we can you can say no, the North. It's fine. He's not, he's not trademarked. Is he so. not? I'm going to get in trouble if we say the end name. <laughs> uh, but us, we should get these up on the conveyor. Right? Oh, yes. yes. Take a yes. look. So, if you want to bring up the uh, Star Wars Legion Clone Wars core set and the B One battle droids and the Wave One wow. Clone Troopers. Whoa! Whoa! Can you ask for more? Boxes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Phase one clone troopers, oh, V1 droids, V1 droids. Oh, Roger, so, Roger. Very similar <laughs> to the uh, original um, core set. In fact, if you don't already own the Galactic Civil War core set, this is a complete core set. You can jump into playing our Legion, not Armada, but jump into Le don't jump into Armada with one of these, jump into Legion with one of these. <laughs> would go very well. Hopefully, hopelessly outclassed in Armada. Um, so this is, apart from the models, all the rulers and dice and rule books are identical, so you can just, if you want to start playing Legion, it's your choice if you want to go for a Galactic Civil War set or a Clone Wars set, they are standardised. Uh, similarly to when the original set was released, uh, they've also released extra versions of uh, Phase 1 clones mm -hmm. and B1 battle droids, which are the same right. models that are in here, but there may be one or two bonus cards in here which aren't in the core set. Um, so in the core set for Galactic Civil War, we had the two commanders, we had Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Mm -hmm. We had two squads of Rebel Troopers, two squads of Storm Troopers. The Empire had two speeder bikes, yes. and Rebels had one ATRT. Yeah. So, uh, for the Clone Wars set, you've got two squads of Clone Troopers, similar, two squads yeah. of Battle Droids. Yep. Uh, as support vehicles, the uh, CIS has Droid Eckers. Mm -hmm. And the Galactic Republic has the Bark Speeder. Oh, okay. Which yes. is a bike armoured recon something. Mm -hmm. The dual seat one. Yeah, the dual seat one. Sound axle seat one. Yeah, that's cool. Does he and the anti tank Oh, no, that's what that one's. Yeah. Mm, he's yeah. got like, a, like an MG 34 or something yeah, yeah. similar. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the two commanders included are General Kenobi and General Grievous. Well, you've heard of this. What's this fucking joke really for? Um, how are we feeling about that as a corset lineup? I think it's pretty strong. I think there's strong. a lot in there. Yeah. The speeder took me by surprise, but at the same time, I didn't really know what else to suggest. I was about to say, what else really is there vehicle wise? I suppose you could have a, what is it, the AT. Um, you could have given them an AZRT, yeah. 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 so couldn't you? Yeah, it's that whole Clone Wars tape that the Rebel Alliance has yeah. kind of um, commandeered. Is that the. Single walker. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. You're playing Battlefront. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rise is yeah. changing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> horrible. I suppose up against Droid yeah. though, that probably wouldn't go too yeah. well. Um, how do we feel about the choice of commanders, General Kenobi? General I'm, I'm surprised. Is it they're, they're good characters, obviously. That they've I'm, I'm, I've always loved General Grievous. Yeah, yeah and and I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're happy not love it. We may have like mm. other ones later down the line, but I've got two more confirmed. Yeah, um, I was. Surprise! I, I predicted it was either going to be Grievous or Tyrannus was going to be the mm -hmm. CIS commander. Yeah. Um, Grievous is probably cooler. They probably do more yep. with the, like the special thing they push from melee side. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I get they don't want to flood it with force users too quick because Clone Wars is going to be a, for, a force heavy mm -hmm. set compared to Galactic. That's, yeah, that's right. Yep. That's right. Um, General Kenobi, 
It's hard to be annoyed, but it's true. No, 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 I'd, I'd have been happy with him or Anakin, and conversely, I can also see why they didn't use Anakin as his spoilers in the corset. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, no. Are we excited about this? Yes. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Um, but it never rains, but it pours. There's not much like walking Kyle off. There's. Uh, <laughs> sounds like a Russian oligarch, doesn't it? If it's. it's <laughs> Uh, there's not just leader stuff, there's also, Dave, put your boner down. There's Armada stuff out this book. <laughs> uh, we've also got the, oh, I can bring it up, I what it's called. Uh, the Star Wars Armada Rebellion in the Room Boxed Campaign. Nice. How, nice. how aware have you of what's in here? I've seen a few um, snippets here and there. Mm -hmm. I've seen a few people talking about it. How are you feeling about it? I, I, if it's <laughs> anything like the, um, uh, what about the Legion? That, Yep. Scenario says. Yes. Or uh, that with knobs on. Yeah, I think. yeah no, There's a, a wall chart. It's a bit of new light. It, it's you know? it's yeah. going to kind of blur the line between Rebellion and Armada. You're actually going to. Do you remember the video game Empire at War? Mm -hmm. It's going to be logistic supplies and stuff like that. But not only that, you can have, rather than a normal game of Armada being a, a two player one shot, you can have up to six players, all with their own fleets. Uh, and an RPG like system that you would create a commander for our Rebel Alliance or the Empire and you play oh, through okay. leveling them up nice. as you go along as oh, well. Okay. Okay. So you're creating original yeah. characters. Um, but there's also a load of extra gun for playing Armada with as well. Um, just on the back we can see there's some more scenario cards. Uh, Kanan, IG-88 and Lando finally arrive Good, in yeah. the Legion. And Sabine, um, and the Exegorth has turned up. The Space, <laughs> space Slug is now terrain in Armada. Okay. Awesome. So hopefully there's rules so a Falcon can hide in there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's obviously Rebellion Room is tying in with the Outer Rim thing that's, mm -hmm. uh, that they're pushing mm -hmm. as well. Cool. So um, loads of stuff going on. Yeah. So, but it's a lot of looking at this artwork is all very lovely, but... Um, I'm quite excited to have a look at what's inside the box. Sort of knife. Okay, let's get some sort of knife <laughs> and slice this open. Let's, <laughs> let's get a lightsaber <laughs> and see what we can find. Okay, so the Star Wars Legion Clone Wars core set with some rather sexy artwork featuring mm -hmm. General Grievous charging into uh, a bunch of clone troopers, droid eckers, super battle droids. It's a good, good picture. Spider droids falling up. Tanks on behind. Behind. Oh yeah, we've got tanks too. Um, so we have the Learn to Play guide, which is obviously very similar to the one in the Galactic Civil War core set, and the Galactic Civil War set had Darth Vader's face, and this has got a clone trooper's face. Yeah. You do. Uh, looks very similar. Oh, assembly diagrams. Yeah, yeah, the droid look like they're going to be fun. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. I think I need brush applicator poly cement for this. Uh, Grievous uh, can be configured into three different oh, really? arrangements. So you can have him with blast from oh, right. lightsaber, twin lightsabers, or his cloak off oh, and all four cool. lightsabers out. Or we'll be buying extras um, of these. Yeah, the <laughs> Rachel in there comes <laughs> to four parts. Uh, the bark speed looks like it's going to be fun as well. Learning scenarios the same as Galactic Civil War. A couple of little tidy ups of rules and stuff. The original course that didn't have spec forces that was introduced later on. Oh, right, so they've um, got up to speed with that as well. For the most part, it's all very familiar to anyone who's played Legion once or twice. Oh, these are new for the droid eckers. We have shields now. Uh, oh, yes. army. oh, nice. Reference so, guide yeah. as well. Yeah, nothing has got shields and... Uh, Sabine does. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I suppose not similar vehicles, to... though. Or... No, uh, new droid. New rules for clones and droids. Um, a clone trooper unit may spend aim, dodge and standby and surge of a friendly clone trooper at range one in line of sight as if it were their own, so they can share dodge, aim, standby and surge. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, Makes droid sense. troopers do not improve its cover while it has suppression. Because it just stands up and takes yeah. the fire. Well, there's a reason. Uh, why. A droid trooper cannot be suppressed. A droid trooper unit is treated as a vehicle when receiving and resolving the ion tokens. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, that's intriguing. Yeah. So you can iron them? Yeah, so yeah but can you can't suppress them. It can still break, yeah. it can still mm, but flee, they but they don't lose an action for taking suppression. So someone takes a shot and they don't, they don't suppress. They take the suppression marker, they don't get the cover bonus for it. And uh, when it hits them rather they still take they can still take two actions until the suppression is double their courage value, at which point they flee. Okay. And yeah, obviously ion's gonna hit them hard. So 
uh, and uh, referred to it as a hobby. Uh, yeah, and a little quick painting guide at the back as well. Like you're not going to use contrast paint. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the uh, quick rounds reference. Very nice. Yeah. Um, similarly, the card components. That looks very similar, doesn't it? Uh, very similar. I think you know, we don't got trouble suppression. Okay, that's handy. That's mm. cool. Um, yeah, use the shield tokens for the droidicus. Uh, obviously, what are these ones, bro? Uh, those are condition markers. You use them for certain scenarios for randomizing targets. Yeah, yeah I haven't seen those ones no. before. Um, they're all pretty standard. Obviously, um, you also know, rather than it be uh, rather than it being the Rebel Alliance Starbird and the Imperial Crest, you've got the um, Grand Army for Republic working on the CIS logo as well. Lovely. Yeah, looking very cool. Um, so these range rules now come in four parts, Blake. So, <laughs> <laughs> and we've got more movement tools and uh, the draw uh, for the bases. The uh, oh, GAR has got this kind of uh, coyote color and uh, coyote. That's what, that's tan, tan coyote olive. Um, this and the uh, CIS has got the blue the base. Color, right? Yes, four bases. Or is that just in case you mess up two of the bases? Um, I've never seat. known a publisher be that generous. <laughs> no, no, it costs money, isn't it? Uh, yep, yeah, normal bases again, they've gone for that tan and, and blue. Mm -hmm. uh, more fucking barricades. That's all right. If you've never walked game before, perfectly good waist height terrain. Um, more dice. Again, the Legion they dice. Similar, yes, yes, with all the blanks we've come to know and love. <laughs> oh! Um, I'm guessing that's for Bark Speeder. Oh yeah, it looks like it. Bark Speeder. Yeah, hopefully it gets them all together. You'd hope, right? That's a weapon there. There's a lot of parts. There is a lot of parts. <laughs> it's it's going to be fun. more than the, the old, because it's different material, I suppose. Yeah. Is that why? Yeah. So is this stronger material now? Yes and no. The soft plastic is main strength. Is like stuff Heroflex is made out of. Is main strength is it will bend right. rather than break. So it's it is less forgiving. Medium, yep. but, but with that, you can get higher levels of detail out of it. And like with I said, you're not going to get groupy yeah. lightsabers yeah. in the game, which is going to be a lot more lightsaber heavy. Really, Luke's, we're not going to Luke's and Vader's lightsabers are a bit floppy. Yeah, yeah I, I noticed that. And uh, General Grievous won't have that problem. I yeah. don't want a floppy Grievous. No, that's, uh, that looks like a bit of droid echo. Uh, it does, yeah. You've got the turrets. And these are yeah. quite detailed, actually. Yeah. Which is good. Love me some high quality droid echoes. A little bread. <laughs> it's a lot more work put together. Yeah. But that looks like a cloak. It uh, is. That's uh, Common Josh Lull. Give him his proper name. Um, so, so should have been. Should have been General. Uh, should have been Gary Oldman. Yeah, apart from Screen Actors Guild dispute, that's General Grievous. Oh, really? I think Gary Oldman would have done the coughing as well. Yeah. Yeah. He would have done the limp as well. Yeah. There's a lot of lightsabers on that. Yeah. There is. I like that. <laughs> I suppose that works with the uh, interchangeable. I don't think get on the camera is actually detailed on lightsaber hilts as well. Is there really? Whoa. Oh, there is. Okay. Wow, so they're not just. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> Crikey. I'm glad I don't paint miniatures. <laughs> That's right, you got me to do all this for you. Good man. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> I'm not That's supposed amazing. to paint it, it's putting the things together. I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. This is Droid Deck, isn't it? Yeah, that's a yeah. head. I like Droid Deck. It doesn't. I think they're. Oh, yeah, pretty cool. Universally cool. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a hell of a kit. Oh yeah. That's gonna look There's so cool. the heads of the B1 droids two part. There's no need for that. Wait, the droidica's heads are two part? No, droidica, the B1 battle droids heads are two part. You've really? You've got the ears on the back and the top part. <laughs> oh yeah. wow, that's a lot of detail. No need for that. Yeah, I noticed on the Grievous, is, uh, is those fins that he has, or kind of like ears. That's that extra detail. Those are extra, yeah. Oh, these all look fairly uniform. So and I'm seriously one of those. I mean, there's, there's, there's multi-part where you just okay. get a body and some legs. So there's the individual the, legs, you, arms, head, yeah, two parts. Yeah, slight different you, bends in the leg. There's a heavy one. crazy. Let me show the back of these. That is so a crazy amount of detail. Mm -hmm. Well, that is a heavy one. There's bodies. Yeah. There's one on that. Here you go, and this is what they're meant to look like once they're, uh, once they're done, if you want to get focused on that. So oh, that is got, got the guy with the uh, like binoculars. Yeah, and so that's there's the, the heavy weapon. So hopefully, Roger, 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 Roger. Roger. Um, so hopefully, the models are the same, or are they you get some. You, you sometimes get a different pose or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Well, you've got some cool crouching dude in the bottom right. I do like that. Oh, I like the guy with the with, with the binoculars as well. 
Yeah. Straight out of the film, though, isn't it? It's very cool. You've got well, the he the hasn't got any well. like, telescopic lenses in his, in his eyes, I don't know. <laughs> you would have thought so. I mean, they're yeah. thought of everything else. Well, but... like Quantel and everything. Yeah. Clone Troopers. Is this two in the same class, set? Yeah. Got two squads of Clone Troopers as well. These are all mixed up. Well, they look a bit easier to put together. Good. Don't they? This one's already been in the battle, oh. as you can see. Did you see that all lightsabers? <laughs> yeah, it's just like plastic. It's going to be a long more colour, he's only got one leg. They look cool. They look very, very yeah. cool. I do like so, Yeah, pretty impressed. We decided uh, what colours we're going to be going for. We're going to go thematic or were you... Oh, uh, yeah, of course I'll go thematic. I'm going to try and do as best I can. I'll need to read up on um, clone armour, pauldrons and stuff like that. Mm. That's something I'm not really familiar with. Sounds good. Okay. General, yeah. maybe you're going to need some warm water for this lightsaber. <laughs> oh, it's got the proper pose. That, that's a lovely pose. That is awesome. Even the softer plastic. It's a shame it's a modelling balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the softer that plastic. That face is really are, good. Yeah, the sculpts are stunning. It is. Damn. I'm surprised they've changed to the hard plastic because their sculpts are coming out in leaps and bounds mm -hmm. from the original set up to what we've seen with the more recent ones. Um, it's not like Palpatine. Was such a it looks sculpt. like him. Um, yeah, it does. Yeah, spot on. That's wow, really does. So onto the cards, we've got ambush, push, assault, and standing orders, which are standard cards. Right, we yeah, we know those. But with Clone Wars themed artwork instead. Ooh, okay. I like that. Oh, nice. So that's ambush. Yep. Yeah. What we got next? Another ambush. So push, that being B1 and a super battle droid in the background. Fantasy and assault, which is a myriad of everything. Well, that's busy. Yeah, you got your droids, you got your troopers. Mm. A couple of lightsabers there as well. Okay. And standing um, orders we've is. We've got um, the condition cards, which are identical to the Galactic Civil War cool. core set. So. Yeah, standing orders are so. exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Um, Which makes sense, right? Because realistically, this is yeah. potentially aimed at someone who's just getting into Legion for the first time. Um, so, commander specific command cards. Oh, we've we got go. Hello There, which is <laughs> yes. in order to Obi Wan Kenobi. Yes. Obi Wan Kenobi gains nimble. At the start of the activation phase, Obi Wan Kenobi gains one aim, one dodge, one standby, or one surge token for well. each enemy unit at range one or two. Oh, that's perfect. Hello There. Uh, his two pip card is Knowledge and Defence. Man, that really looks like Yuva Gregor. <laughs> Obi Wan uh, issue orders to two troopers. Obi Wan Kenobi gains one dodge token for each other friendly trooper unit at range one. Obi Wan Kenobi can use Guardian during a melee attack. Cool. His three pip is General Kenobi. Obi Wan Kenobi and two units. When Obi Wan Kenobi issues an order to a unit, that unit gains one surge token for each other friendly unit at range one of it. Nice. Something else I thought was cool that they've actually done Kenobi's um, battle gear instead yeah. of like yeah. Jedi robe. Mm. Which I always liked. I like that. The additional pauldrons. Mm. Actual general time. Yeah, give him some armor. You yeah. might have the force, but it doesn't make him completely invisible. Yeah. Uh, if you've got a surge token, you can cash it in to turn a surge into a hit or a block. Oh, so you have that choice. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, General Grievous command deck is um, one pip is trained in your Jedi arts. Issue to General Grievous. General Grievous gains disengage and one dodge token. At the end of his activation, he may perform an attack against each enemy unit at range one using the following weapon melee or range one, one red, two black, one white, suppressive, versatile. Cool, blimey, versatile. That's a one pip. <laughs> yeah, one pips tend to be quite hard. Yeah. It is two pip is uh, two troopers. General Grievous gains one surge token for each other friendly trooper unit at range one. While another friendly trooper unit has a face up order token, it gains Guardian two. It can use Guardian during a melee attack. And his three pip is crush them. Issue orders to General Grievous and two units. When General Grievous issues an order to a unit, that unit gains one surge token for each defeated enemy unit. Save that for the end game. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I suppose we want to know what these guys can do. Yes. So we've got Obi Wan Kenobi, 175 points for one model, six hit points, courage value of three, speed two. You've only got one weapon, which is Obi Wan's lightsaber, melee only, two red, two black, two white, crit two, impact two, pierce two. 
Uh, he also has, <laughs> as an action, he can jump one. Uh, he has charge. He has guardian three. He's immune to pierce. Pierce cannot be used against him. He has master of a force one, so he automatically gets back one spent force power at the end of each turn. And Suresu Mastery. While defending or using Guardian, if you spend a dodge token, you're going to surge to block and the attacker suffers one wound for each surge <laughs> roll. Okay. So his lightsaber isn't quite as bitey as Vader's. But he's but a more defensive fighter, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Vader's is all out aggression. Yeah. yeah. So, Guardian, what does that do? Uh, Guardian is, connected. if you're within range, you can take hits for another unit. Cool. Phase 1 clone troopers are 52 points for a four-man squad. One hit point each, courage value 1. Defense is red, surge to blank. Uh, speed 2, they have unarmed combat of 1 black, and they have a DC-15A blaster rifle, range 1 to 3, 1 black. Okay. Uh, fire support. When another friendly unit performs a ranged attack, if you have a face-up order token, each mini in your unit may add an eligible weapon to the attack pool. If you do, flip your order token face down. Limit one fire support for attack phase. So they're rolling. So if, if another unit is making a rage attack, you can join in. Was, yes, if you're a face up order token, if you are, so if you're, if you've got an order on you, yeah, the face up can't well, activate it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can cash it in to be able to for the attack to join the attack as well. Wow. So. Just draw fire. How yeah. many so how many units squads firing at the same squad? They've only got one red dice, but no surges on that red mm. dice. Yeah, yeah. Same yeah. 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 stormtroopers. Yeah. Mm. That is that's very strong though, that fire spot. Be nice mm -hmm. to see how that's used. Uh, we've got the bark speeder is seventy five points for one model. Five hit points, crit damage three. Defense is red surge to blank, and has a speed of three. Uh, it has. A DC 15A blaster rifle, range 1 to 3, 1 black, and it has a twin light blaster cannon, range 1 to 3, red, black, white, fixed front. Uh, Arsenal 2, while attacking each mini, can, you can fire both weapons. Nice. Uh, cover 1, pretty standard for speeders, and also speeder 1, so it has to compulsory move at the start right. of each activation. So, speedier ATRT. Mm. Yeah, at yeah, least 75 points as well, so oh, he's going to be biting. General Grievous. Uh, is 175 points for one model, 8 hit points, courage value 2, defence is red surge to blank. Arsenal uh, 2. He has two melee weapons, both identical trophy lightsabers, one red, two black, one white, impact one, PS1. And obviously he has Arsenal 2, so those are stack. Mm. Um, block, uh, while defending, if you spend a dodge token, you gain a surge to block. Uh, impervious while defending. If your attack pool has PSX, roll X additional defense dice, which we've seen before in Mandalorian armor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jedi Hunter, while attacking a unit that has a force power upgrade icon, you gain surge to crit. Uh, <laughs> Relentless and scale is a new one. Scale on must be something to do with climbing. I was about climbing, to say, considering yeah. what we've seen in, in, the, yeah. in yeah. the shows. Tactical bandage ship. Scuttle, scuttle. Turn into a spider. So Arsenal 2, that, that's every time he, he hits you twice. Yeah, um, something to notice uh, as well. Relentless, you can actually equip a weapon. So yeah, Relentless is um, like a variation of charge. Okay. Obviously charge is after you move, you can do a free melee action. Relentless is after you move, uh, you can do an attack action, either ranged or melee. Cool. And uh, what was it we haven't asked for? Scale. Kyle's noticed you can equip him with a pistol or a rifle. Mm -hmm. So that would be uh, interesting to see. Yeah. Obviously, bouncing yeah. the back of that Arsenal, close range, and then... Mm. I like it. B1 Battle Droids. Yes. 36 points for a six-man squad. Wow, Many okay. Orcs. That's going to be a lot. Yeah. Uh, one, one hit one point each, courage value one, defense is white surge to blank, so they're going to die like the proverbial. They, pop, yeah. uh, they can bludgeon in melee for one white, and they have their blast rifles range one to three, one white. Uh, they also have AI attack. Unless you have a face-up order token, your first action must be an attack if able. So if you pull them out of the bag and they've got an eligible target, they have to open fire. Wow, okay. Uh, coordinate droid trooper. After you issued an order, you may issue an order to a friendly droid trooper unit at range one. Oh, so that's going to stack, isn't it? It's more yeah. stacking. Yeah, yeah if, you, if you've got them all loaded in range one, so General Grievous issues an order to a B1 battle droid they squad. If they've, no, if they've got another squad in range one, they can have one. If they've got another squad in range one, they can have one. Yeah, so they just chain constantly. Um, I've, I read a strategy article online, someone said, if, in your, if you're playing CIS and in your bag you've got any tokens other than General Grievous or Droid Eckers, you're playing wrong. 
they're going to be Makes sense. a mm. lot of feeble weapons, but there's going to be a lot there's of... There's a lot of it coming on. towards you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. 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 Damage Speaking damage. of slightly heavier hitter weapons, we also have droid echoes. Yes, here we go. Which are 100 points for two models in a squad. Uh, three hit points each. Completely immune to suppression. What defence is white surge to block. Uh, they have dual twin blaster cans, which are range one to three, red, black, black, suppressive, fixed front, immune to deflect. Uh, they also have AI attack move. Unless you have a face up order token, your first action must be an attack or a move. Generator one. During the end phase, flip one inactive shield token. Shielded four. You have four shield tokens. Well. Will they just be soaked up by hits, yes, first of yeah. all? Mm. Mm. That makes sense, they've only got a white dice of defence. Yeah, but they soak up the first four white, hits. Or... Quite low, yeah. yeah. That's it, you're not going to... And they can regenerate every turn, one hit, yeah. one shield yeah. bullet. Yeah. Right, yeah. So you're going to need to concentrate on that. I'm sure uh, that uh, certain units of shield tokens allow them to add block results. Shield tokens are double-sided with an active side and an inactive side. Shield tokens always enter play with an active side face-up. Shield tokens placed on the battlefield next to the unit that has those shield tokens. While defending against a ranged attack during a roll defence dice step before rolling dice, the defender may flip any number of shield tokens from the active side to the inactive side. For each shield token flipped in this way, the defender adds one block result. The defender rolls one fewer defence dice for each block result added in this way. Shield tokens can be flipped to add block results only during ranged attacks, not during melee attacks. During the modified defence dice step, the attacker can use Pierce X keyword to cancel block results added by shield tokens. Okay. So Pierce still goes on. Yeah. Uh, wheel mode. When you activate, you may increase your maximum speed to 3. If you do, until the end of a round, you gain cover 2 and cannot attack or flip active shield tokens. So you lose so shield into the wheel. You can wheel. along. Yeah, whiz around. Yeah. So I like the fact that even though they aren't a speeder, they still have to just, they still have a compulsory move in the turn. Yeah. Either move or attack. Yes. Which, mm -hmm. again, makes sense yeah. for the droids. Decent range in the, on their glasses. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. One to three. Yeah. Uh, suppressive, what was that? Suppressive focus. Uh, sorry, suppressive fixed fire. Um, and immune deflect. Immune deflect's good. Yes, it is actually. Yeah, some pretty heavy. Uh, which is interesting fire. because I've. I'm almost, I mean, sure, it's, they've got to build it around the game. I'm almost certain I've seen the people just The Corsair has that. two standing droid deckers and two wheeled droid deckers, so you can switch them <laughs> on. Are you sure uh, now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. That's okay. brilliant. So that's why we've got four of them. Yeah. Wow. It's, 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 a, that's real, it's the, a real war game. Yeah. 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 I want it, I want it moving it's, there. That's the equivalent of having airfix soldiers in standing, kneeling and laying yeah. down pose. <laughs> so you can swap them out when you're That's there. cool. I like oh. that. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Is there a rule that says I can't just have them in wheel mode for the entirety of the no, game? They, they can't attack, but yeah, sure. That's fine. Uh, in terms of, she just wants to see them across the board. In terms of, oh, well, we, as we're all established players, and I suspect a lot of the people watching the show are established players, um, I'll whiz through the upgrade cards we've already seen. So commanding presence we've seen before, we mm -hmm. have aggressive tactics. While you have a nominated commander, after issuing orders, choose up to four friendly units with face-up order tokens. Each chosen unit gains one surge token. It's in Hunter Before, Tenacity, Environmental Gear, Recon Intel, HQ Uplink, Long Range Complink, Jedi Mind Trick, Force Push, Force Guidance is a new one. Mm -hmm. Can you it out? I can't see it from over there. Yep. So choose up to two friendly units at range one to two. Each chosen unit gains one surge token. Okay. So, back on the we've seen before, that's a new new force power. So, Brad, you mentioned that uh, we're seeing some mm -hmm. uh, duplicates from Hope. previous sets. Yeah, but new. Are these, um, have they got new art, or is it no, same, same art? Same art, okay. It's so, light side only. Yeah, light side only. You gain one Inspire after your rally step. Move up to one suppression token from another friendly unit at range one to two. Amazing. And have add an extra phase one clone trooper to your squad. Okay. I like that a lot. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Add a V one battle droid to your squad. Yeah, the artwork is good actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, the clone troopers can be augmented by the one, the only, the truly amazing. Yay! Z four, Z six. Mm -hmm. Oh dear lord! <laughs> Range one of three. What's that? Six, six whites. 
Isn't that the equivalent? What's the? That's the minigun. It's the Z6. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's the yeah. same same weapon. Oh, is it the same weapon? Then? Yeah. yeah, of course okay. it's Z6. It looks impressive. It always looks good when we roll the dice. Well, yeah, because you just basically roll everything you've got. How <laughs> <laughs> many blanks are coming? Uh, the, <laughs> they have a head, another heavy weapon in the form of a DC-15. Do we know cool. this before? Uh, no, it looks know. like an anti-tank rifle going on the stands. Two reds. Two red crit four one. Four range. Yeah, one to four, crit one. So what, start, uh, offensive surge, two crits. So yeah, you get one to a crit. Yeah. Has it got impact or? No. You have a slightly heavier gun available for B1s. ESC B1 trooper, so that's slightly heavier hitting. Yeah, yeah. one to three, three blacks. Yeah. So that's instead right, of the, right, it's quite strong actually, considering mm -hmm. the basic is just one mm -hmm. to three, one yeah. white, isn't it? Yeah, so one white. Yeah. That'll be, it will be heavier. And he's got that. Um, you're drawing yeah, fire in small troops. Have a shoulder-mounted rocket launcher. Two to four, one red, two blacks, and impact two, expected. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the anti tank weapon. Mm. That's a recharge card, so you have to tap it. Use mm -hmm. it yeah. Yeah. Uh, with General Grievous has a rifle he can take. Oh, yeah, it is a rifle. Yeah, Cole noticed that. Yeah. So it actually can be used in melee. Right? Yeah. And in fact, versatile, you can perform range attacks with this while you are engaged. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> so it is very much a I stuck you on my lightsaber yeah, and I hit you in range. It's going to be nasty, useful. Yeah. Yeah. So crit one, pierce one, and of course versatile as well. Two That's two quite one. good. It's a good gun. Uh, Brad, what's the damage on the lightsabers for Grievous? Do you have them to hand? Well, I can get them. I think there were three, black, three dice. Uh, one red, two black, one white. Oh, no. he, he would attack. He's got Arsenal too, so it would be two red, four black, two white. Yeah, impact two. <laughs> so similar two. to Kenobi, Jeez, actually. Okay. Yeah. So you gain a black, lose a red. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we've got three extra weapons we can have on the bark as well. We've got the twin laser gunner. Four dice, one three. Going Fixed, out rear. of course, yeah. Going out of rear. Ah, nice. Oh, okay. Front and rear. Gives it a little bit more, considering right now it's only a front firing. The defender must be inside your front or rear arc. Yeah. yeah. It's got shoulder mounted rocket launcher for the bark. Bang. Cool. The dude just sitting next to him just stands up and is like, ah, yeah. screw you, good sir. <laughs> Impact two. So, yeah, two to four nice. range. Stand up, but nice to see. And the last upgrade card is you can have an ion gun on the back of a bark, which will be handy for knocking out clankers. Yeah. Impact one, ion one. Three black. I feel like that's going to be very strong against the Droidicas. Yeah. If you start running away from them yeah, and just firing them back. The shield would stop either. Yeah, uh, so the, in the, if you buy the B1 Battle Droid expansion on its own, you get two upgrade cards in there which aren't in the core set, which is a comms relay, which we have seen before in the Galactic mm -hmm. Silver War set, which lets you bounce an order across to another yep. unit. Uh, but you also get Electro Binoculars as a uh, exclusive upgrade. Is you gain spend an action spotter one, choose one friendly unit at range one. That unit gains a name token. B1 battle droids can ignore the upgrade icon, so battle droids can always take it without taking up an upgrade slot. That's cool. And if you get the phase one clone troopers upgrade, you get two upgrade cards which aren't in the core set. You get electro binoculars, which we've just seen, <laughs> and brand new to Legion smoke grenades. Uh, you gain smoke one, place one smoke token within range one and in line of sight of your unit lead. I wonder if that work is heavy or light. Yeah, wasn't yeah, well, they going to call it? They're going to call it. Sound. Just going to call it yeah. sort of like. But if it's charged, but if it it locks line of sight, you probably can't draw the shot at all. Right. Yeah. yeah. I suppose so. if that's the me mechanism they go for. Hmm. You can't draw the shot because you can't trace line of sight. Is that rechargeable? Giving you no. a defence. That's a friable, isn't it? Uh, no, it's, it's permanent. Oh, oh so, it is. So you wow, can okay. do more months. Okay, as we said, it's not just Legion this week. We've also got the Rebellion in Marin campaign expansion, which Dave is very excited about. <laughs> because it's, it's Armada and an RPG light and a massive campaign. So this is the Dave expansion. Yeah. I've got to put me in as a character. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, well, straight the box, actually. we have the Rebellion in Marin campaign guide, which is pretty chunky. Yeah. Um, we also have... Is it does yes. look like a character sheet. Mm. Indeed it is. Oh, we are going retro here. This is like almost oh. like oh. battles level. Yeah. yeah, battle records. You can build up your commander abilities, collect strategic effects, keep track of your ships and squadrons you've got in your little mini I'll take it, a PDF will be available. I was going to say, someone uh, made a PDF, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got quite a few in there. This is a decent amount. A wedge yeah. in there, isn't there? Ten, maybe, I guess. A wedge. Um, uh. We have, for campaign map, Who's excited? Oh yes. 
Oh, that's... I'm cold, so we have a, a campaign map. Thank you. We have a sheet of adhesive stickers for marking out <laughs> uh, the Empire Excellent. of the Rebellion as uh, oh. taking control of a particular area. It's, it's like going over uh, a Rebellion board game and go, oh, look at that planet. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise it was that close. Well, yeah. awesome. <laughs> I didn't realise GLS and Tatooine were that close. Obviously, it's got like. It looks Space. like they've got scenario names pretty much. So the universe is Tatooine, Space. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mandalorian Sector. Happy Spring Spring. Star Wars New. Mustafar, where nothing bad ever happened. Mm -hmm. no, no comment. Don't see any legs, have you? Smuggler's Run. That's, that's, that's right. bad, obscure. Mm. Okay, so we have some more aid memoir. Take you, okay? Yeah, yeah. Aid memoir tokens here. What looks like a nebula or equivalent. There's no plastic in here, it's all cardboard, but you have got alternate squadron dials you can fit. Oh, cool. Into your, oh, okay. into your existing. That's good. That looks like Hondo. It's Hondo. It does. Kanan there for sure. And Lando. At last. And uh, Lando hits through affiliation. Marcus. Yeah, shooting you. What you <laughs> we have what looks like <laughs> a Kessel run. Um, Exegorfs. And uh, I forget what they're called, they're in Space Whale. Space Whale. Space Whale. Whale. Space Whale. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Featuring what... closed mouth and open mouth yeah. variants. Yeah. Yeah. That is one of the things I've heard about in, in this cafe. Uh, so, uh, a shitload of uh, new scenario cards, some of which will be exclusive for the campaign, some of which you'll be able to mix into your regular deck just nice. to. Um, Add some more variety to your regular games of Armada. I think this was in the other expansion. You can have armed space stations floating around the board. Armed oh, as well. Because they're normally just for yeah. refueling or, or um, repairing, aren't they? Basically. Looks like this might be campaign driven. We've got low fuel, a low supply, and low morale hindrances. Yeah. And uh, we have some brand new squadrons. And we have Lando in the Millennium Falcon. Nice. Mart Matin in Sato's Hammer. Not Sato's not Hammer. That one. Uh, Kane and Jarrus in a Mouldy Crow, Mali Hura in a Skurg H6 Bomber, Honda Onaka in a Fire Spray, Moralo Ival, IG88B, and the two got the multiple IG88s back, and a Tel Trubura. <laughs> so it's going to be scum and villainy heavy, which is what you'd hope for an outer rim scenario. Um, interesting, all the Empire's got scum and villainy cards rather than any real Imperial yeah. pilots. Uh, it looks like we've got some new upgrade cards. You will obviously need the Rose and Villains box set in order to play it would help those, a lot. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, you could probably fudge your way through with this, but I, I, I think it's kind of assumed if you're buying this, you've got a decent Armada yeah. set already. Well, if, if, you, if you're going to buy it, you're going to need it's a full Yeah, yeah so one, new to an Armada, we have Ezra Bridger, Captain Rex. Yay. Sabine Wren. Uh -huh. My girl Aiden Versio. I love her. Commander Voldar. Commander Vanto. Expert Shield Tech. Auxiliary Shields Team. Weapon Battery Techs. Reserve Hangar Decks, I've a feeling we've seen before. Proximity Mines, very really handy in vacuum space. <laughs> Advanced transponder net, linked turbo laser towers, and some more uh, titles, including the Corvus from Battlefront oh, for your nice. Imperial Raider. Vanguard Liberator. And the Liberator? Yes, from Blake 7. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, well, this looks involved. There's a lot here, I see. Yeah. yeah. New there's, rules there's a lot coming out of that very small box. Yes. So you've got some new tokens here, yeah. with, a, with a line through the... Mm -hmm. the uh, uh, Rebellion Rim is played over one to three acts, during which players attempt to gain campaign points by participating in games of Star Wars Armada called Battles. Each act consists of several campaign turns that are divided into phases. During these turns, teams gather to strategize and declare which locations they are attacking. Then each player is paired off with one opponent for a battle. After playing their battles, players finish the turn by managing their fleets and the locations their team controls. These phases are described in the campaign turn. Unlike a typical game, a Star Wars Armada game, battles may contain fleets of unequal power, and they can range in size, consisting of skirmishes between small fleets, also called task forces, 
or encounters that include large team fleets. During battles, in addition to earning campaign points, players also gain experience and rewards to upgrade their task force's capabilities. When one team has earned enough points, the current act ends and the players gather for a special team game called a Pivotal Battle. After the Pivotal Battle, either a new act begins or the players determine victory for the campaign by comparing each team's campaign point total. Oh, this sounds okay, fun. that sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a... There's a lot going on there. There's mm-hmm. like a build your own story aspect. Yeah, the fact that the Absolutely. Fact you can have asymmetric sides instantly mm. makes mm-hmm. it interesting. Yeah, but full blown campaign, that creating teams. So obviously, you get the stickers provided quite mm-hmm. early on. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you only get one map. Is this a one shot? Uh, I've just noticed here the stickers using this expansion are made to be removable without damaging the map or leaving residue. There we go, perfect. Um, however, stickers will show wear off being repeatedly removed. For this reason, the campaign removes stickers infrequently and extra copies of essential stickers are provided. If players prefer to issue using stickers entirely and keep them up as simply a visual fun aid, they are welcome to do so. Um, oh, the map is it's really not that heavy grade paper, but I no, suppose it's finished. You can warm out it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but um, your, your your stickers will be like the kids sort of fun stickers where yeah, they can pop yeah. on and pop off. That's um, good. Yeah, the galactic civil war rages across the stars, perhaps nowhere more fiercely than the lawless mid and outer rim. Newly promoted commanders lead their fleets, gaining combat skills as they vie for resources, allies, and control systems. As they grow in power, all suspect that a final battle is approaching in the rim to determine if a growing rebellion will be crushed or may still have hope. Uh, Rebellion in the Rim is an escalating struggle for supremacy as Rebel Alliance and Galactic Empire fleets clash in remote regions of the galaxy. It's designed for four to six players organised into two competing teams. Each player commands a single fleet and can gain new abilities as their ships do battle. Teamwork, however, will determine which team succeeds in controlling the Rim. This sounds like a lot of fun to me. Yeah. Creating commands and task forces. We, we might even get Ian interested. <laughs> Could ha- it could happen. <laughs> yeah. I've never touched Armada, but this sounds Fun. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, There's a lot to it, which is good. Oh, it's, it feels quite 80s having a boxed campaign, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 It is. It's an AD&D box. <laughs> Star Wars yeah. battle, one or more ships may attempt to retreat to hyperspace. Cool. Uh, constructing yeah, cause, bases. Cause obviously, you don't want to be fighting to death every time. If you're outnumbered, you've got the, you've got the short store. Rules for repair store. yards, spy nets. Wow, awesome. Pivotal battles. <laughs> you just said a page that says six fleet set yeah. up diagram. Oh, yeah. How big do you want this table? Commander abilities, you can skill them in engineering. Can you use a super star destroyer? Um, the, as far as I'm aware, there's no reason you wouldn't do There's nothing special about the super star destroyer. It's still. Um, just the points. points. Yeah. yeah. It's just bloody massive. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm guessing. Huge. I'm guessing that you take a roster of ships each. Yeah. And then for each battle, you'll play a certain number of your ships. Yeah. yeah. This sounds fun. Yeah. Who's in? I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why not? Well, I'm, awesome. I'm, I'm definitely, I've described this to people before as the best space fleet battle I've played. Mm-hmm. And that that just adds everything in. That is yeah. crazy yeah. indeed. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I've got the other one as well. So when we, when we wrap this yeah, one yeah. up, I we can go back and do the Corellia. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So, here it is. The Clone Wars has arrived at Star Wars Legion. Guys, what are you thinking? What are you feeling? I think it's a quality box. Yeah. yeah. And, I'm, and I'm not even a big Clone Wars fan. We'll leave that to Carlton. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, it's that's, definitely that's a polished item box. box. Yeah. Those, yes. um, the, the sprues look fantastic. Yes. You're, you're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of work. You're going to yeah. have fun building them. I hope so. That's cool. Yeah. I hope now this battle draws me quick and easy to paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brown. Brown. There is a lot of detail though. Yeah, that's fine. I'm using washes on the ground now. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, I think that's good. There is, like you said, there is tons of detail on all of it. I like yeah. the um, being able to change out what Grievous looks like. I like yeah. the wheel mode that they've actually mm. have a model that's, for that's, it. That's on the nice touch, yeah. I think that's really nice because I, it would have definitely. Uh, been weird, they would have had to do it with a counter if yeah. they didn't do it with a separate model. Um, it's which it shows as much as it's a war game, they're still in the Merry Trash Company. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah no, definitely. Yeah. Um, and I think that would have taken away from it. Yeah. Um, I like some of the skills that we're seeing on the base troopers for both sides as well. Mm-hmm. The fact that both sides have their let's group up and kill things aspect. Mm-hmm. So, with the clone troopers just being able to be like, oh, there's someone close to me who can also 
completely fuck up some droids. Yeah. Let's just do it. And yeah. like Constant three fire. squads just completely yeah. go crazy. And it does remind you of the films. It's just like, yeah. Loads and loads of, loads of, loads of like, so much of that is just kind of loads of bolts coming yeah. through yeah. there. Yeah. Thematic, yeah. Thematic, thematic, as I said, that's what Fantasy Flight do mm-hmm. so well with all their games. Mm. It's thematically they work because they, they've got the rules. Yes. They only have to tweak a rule slightly and suddenly you've got a whole different class of trooper. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. works for that class of trooper as in the films. Yeah, yeah. the number of times you've just had these unique and picture it. And like I said, I think yeah. the laser exchange in the original Clone Wars corset was so great. Because you think about it, the stormtroopers fire off a load of bullets which don't actually <laughs> achieve very much apart from making people put red down. And rebels don't hit as hard, but when they do, a stormtrooper goes flying. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, was, it was spot on to actual Star Wars yeah. combat. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I liked the... Uh, the B ones and the fact how big their squads can get oh, is yeah. like so. I think we worked Oops. out. Uh, we've got yeah, literally. So you've got six in the base. Yeah. You can get a special trooper and an additional one. So you're looking at eight in a squad. Yeah. And it's like that is gonna hit hard. And the fact that they've got the you have to attack if you can do it at the beginning of your turn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're in range. You, they can exactly. Yeah, they're, 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 they're a slave to yeah. our unit. They're just supposed to engage the enemy. Exactly, yeah. which is exactly what you would expect. And mm-hmm. tagging off what the back of Dave said, completely for the matter. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just ah, oh, Roger dead. Kill. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. I'll wait here now until I have to fight again. That's mm-hmm. almost as good as actual George Lucas dialogue. Right? Thank <laughs> you. I, I, I try. I try. Um, um, but I'm really looking forward to yeah. messing around. What do you think of the Bark Speeder? Interesting. Um, it's a speeder. I'm not yeah. a huge it's fan of speeders personally. Um, Every time you play, you say, "Kill me of the speeder." <laughs> yeah. Well, it's I played twice. Yeah. And how has it gone? Uh, they've lasted better Wait, than most. Right. Yeah. Have they? Yeah. yeah. They seem no, to not. die. <laughs> they seem to die very early on. We've right? learned how to use them more now. Yeah. Of, yeah. Um, I like the fact that there is uh, options to be able to not just have front firing weapons. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, of course, I know there is that for the uh, main spe- the uh, land speeders mm-hmm. yeah. um, in the other core set, but with this, it's like oh, if you load the heavy you get weapon. the rear. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. You get you get the rear. Shoot you get up. the RPG as well, and obviously mm-hmm. you get the front firing. So it gives you a lot more to kind of mess it, around. It does look like it's a cross between the ATRT and the speeder bikes. Yeah. yeah. Possibly even a touch of the. Speeder. The speeder. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, the main characters, General Kenobi and General Green, that said we feel about those. I thought the, the, certainly Kenobi. The, 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 it's, it's the facial sculpt was it's amazing. amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's him. Yeah. Yes. Look, I'm get to sign it, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if he, it's, sign it's his face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, as I said, I think it, I was slightly surprised that they've gone over to Sprues, despite the, the incredible quality of those Sprues, mm-hmm. but the, the quality of their basic. Sculpt has, has come on and it's amazing. That say that space yeah. sculpt is just mm. awesome. Looks just like it's it. And these, these troopers, they're just as good as these. But mm. I guess if they're swapping over, yeah. Um, I'm wondering if there's any difference in posability with the multi parts. Whether you can. Um, from what I've seen of the B ones, yeah, you've got a little motion in the arms. Yeah, they're not all just standing in uniform. Yeah. You go a bit up, bit down. Some of the legs yeah. seem to be at different angles. Even though they were they were molded, yeah. they seem to be at different angles. Limited option for customization. Yeah, yeah. I mean, General Grievous is loads of options <laughs> for customization. <laughs> yes. General Grievous's face looks exactly like the voice actor as well. Hey, and, uh, yeah. If you end up with two core sets, which we recommended with the Galactic Civil War set, because um, if you get into it seriously, financial invest investment you can make this to yeah, buy it and sell core set yeah. um, because it works out cheaper than buying all the individual models on their own, and yeah. you get more dice and rulers and cards as well. So, which is uh, definitely going to be if you're using the Z6. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> because we've I we did additional roles uh, yeah. when we were playing uh we, 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 yeah, we have two yeah. calls for the Exactly. Yeah. But doing the I'm rolling six plus more <laughs> dice in one hand die it was awesome. fleet troopers. Oh they are so ad- fuck fleet troopers man. <laughs> like <laughs> what? Like come on. It's like they I have death them. troopers in a perch and they've been eaten to shreds. By some stupid man in a yellow costume with a chain gun. Yeah, but then uh, Darth Vader turned up and it all went a bit rogue one. Well, it did, which was good. I, yeah. I really like that. I literally used, I think, three force abilities yeah. in the space of four awesome. seconds to be able to mess some people up. But so, yes, this. Guys, Star Wars Legion, Clone Wars, Corsair, and Wave 1. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Ooh, yeah, Double thumbs, thumbs up. Definitely. In fact, if I was General Grievous, I'd do another two <laughs> thumbs up as well. Hold up, hold up. Um, 
Uh, the other release, of course, ESV Star Wars Armada Rebellion in the Ruby expansion. I think this took that. all of us by surprise. Yeah. It's a yeah. lot in that little box. Yeah. But it's so it it's a real expansion. Oh. It's a t entirely new game mode for what is normally a, a skirmish um, naval yeah, game, yeah, essentially. Yeah. Expansion is used very loosely in mm -hmm. this day and age with like video games and stuff, but from never playing Armada, yeah. it seems like I'm, I'm like kind of understanding what yeah. it is. But this seems like it's like, oh, by the way, here's a brand new game type. Basically, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's just like, oh, okay, it's cool. So we're going to play it on it. Weeks. Yeah. 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 Mm. It's, I think it sounds amazing. Mm. There's so, so much in there. So the creation God knows how many games you're going to yeah. get out of there. Yeah. That's a series. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Yeah, all right. I'll if do two. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want to go back to real old school references, that's Mighty Empires to Warhammer 2nd Edition. Yeah. That was that kind of you've gone from having little battles to having a whole world to fight over, yeah. and that's you've got the it's, whole sector. It looks super exciting. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be fun. We uh, are we going to do a let's play of this? I'm going to show. It. I think it might take us a year, <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> going anywhere. Yeah, it's it's to be filled it with six players. So, so. Oh, well, if we can find another two guys who are into our mod, I'm yeah, sure we can yeah, make that yeah. work. I mean, literally anyone else who's ever been on the show would be up for it. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, yeah. That's, that's, is it the same size board? Uh, I've heard <laughs> the pivotal battles are six by three. Okay. The smaller engagements are three by three. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's what I've heard. I've not read the rule book yet. Yeah. So um, six. Six for three is good normal because it would take me longer to go off the table. Yes, yeah. the, <laughs> the images that I saw in the uh, the rule book did seem to be more rectangular than square. Yeah, okay. So yeah. I would, yeah, yeah not, a, a normal game of Armada is six by three. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is, but six Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, standard for Armada. Cool. Um, I think this looks fucking amazing. You're really excited. Yeah. I am. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, even you are kind of curious I, well, about no, this. No, I've got the Clone Wars to look at as well. Well, we can do that as well. <laughs> and Clone, we, we know Clone Wars Armada is coming. Yes, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, why Clone Wars Armada is coming? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh you've woke yeah. up now. What? <laughs> it was announced about a year ago, um, but there's been no noise since then, but we think that's because they're clearing decks for this. Okay. I, I might be invested in another Star Wars table. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Clone Wars X-Ray. hasn't as well, even played Rebellion yet. You haven't got a pack of this. Don't know what Rebellion is. Uh, Rebell um, I've played a few. Rebellion yeah. is my favourite Star Wars table. Okay. It's fucking amazing. Um, well, I'll explain to off camera. Cause Do you, you have a lot. video of that on Emotion Sports team, We don't. I keep punching Rob to get it on, guys. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> someone had to go off and get married. Um, Anyway, uh, a fallen episode. Uh, there's lots. <laughs> there's yeah. loads there's of stuff. There's a lot to unpack. Literally. Wow. Um, okay, guys, thanks so much for bearing with us as we got overexcited about uh, these brand new releases <laughs> from <laughs> quite a lot of uh, Fancy Flight Games. This has been Fire When Ready, Adventures in Star Wars, a tabletop gaming for Emotionally14.com. What's Emotionally14? It's a blog dedicated to fantasy, sci-fi, horror, comics, superheroes, all sorts of geeky stuff that you love. You can find at Emotionally14.com and you can follow them on all social media channels at emotionally 14 um, if you want to follow the show, Fire When Ready, then you can find us on both Facebook and Instagram at Fire When Ready UK. Uh, if you want to follow me, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at RealBradHB. Ian, where can people find you? Well, on Instagram, I'm great over. Awesome. Dave, where can people find you? On Instagram under DaveDCLXVI and on Facebook under Milton 100 Board Games Club. Cool. And Kyle, where can people find you? Uh, on Twitter, at now Cody Cost. So I've changed the name. Okay, cool. Are you on Instagram as well? Uh, yeah, Cody Roll 3 or 4, that's the same. So yeah, okay. uh, see pictures of me doing things. Well, you're going to start doing tabletop gaming pictures soon, aren't you? Oh, that's a mistake, and you know it is, but yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Joy, nice. You've already got a girlfriend, it's fine, you can relax. <laughs> I, won't, I won't have it for much longer if I start bringing this up. <laughs> uh, you will learn patience. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Uh, we'll see you again very soon for, let's be honest, probably us getting into this Armada campaign. Yep. See you soon. Bye. Bye.